Welcome to the following presentation of Minor League Esports on the MLE Network. the start of showdown sunday it's week nine in the mle regular season i am curtis and we are going to be getting in first and foremost to the academy league as we start things out it's the comets and the dodgers set to do battle and to bring in my partner in crime today it is hawkish and hawkish two teams trying to separate themselves from the 500 line all told a uh, a five and five and a four and six series score respectively trying to get themselves into some momentum later in the season and this is exactly the kind of matchup you like to see. Two teams that look like they're very evenly matched. It's some, one of those that you, any team could come out here and stomp the other team, or this could be a very close series. You just don't know when teams are looking like this in their record, how they're going to play when they come up against each other. Yeah, Dodgers, who uh, fairly a lot of familiarity there from my perspective in the comments. Some known names on that roster as well. Starting us out, it is ML3s as we start things on this shut on Sunday on MLE2. MLE1 getting going in about, uh, well, an hour's time as things uh, things kind of heat up on this uh, this glorious Sunday. It's been a very, very nice day in, the, in my area, hopefully yours as well, Hawkish. But uh, we won't waste too much time. We'll get the players soon on to the field to get us started. Set of five, week nine, well over the halfway point in this MLE season. And uh, both these teams trying to find a find some resources to get back into the race in their respective division. I know they're, they're kind of down in the doldrums right now, but that may change. There's still a lot of Rocket League left. Uh, exactly. And this, when you get into series like these, you have to take advantage that you're not playing, say, a team that you consider maybe in the standings all, all, a lot above you. you got to take advantage mm -hmm. of these opportunities to try to claw your way back, get ready for the playoffs, and try to uh, sneak your way in. And also on that note, I want to say a happy Father's Day to everyone that's tuning in. For those yeah. that are our father or have was able to spend time with their fathers today, it's something that, uh, you know, it's a great day for us, and I love that at the end of the day, we can get back to some Rocket League. Yeah, absolutely. Good stuff is, uh, is Father's Day Rocket League on the horizon. Looking at these leaderboards, the only real mention, Smalls, is on the leaderboard in goals. That is for the Dodgers, and I don't think he is in for this particular matchup. He is not, as it's going to be Ando, owner of the white sedan, and Plummer for the Dodgers. And on the Comet side, it is going to be uh, Orange, Tarasenko, and Defect going to be going after it. So we are ready to go. Game one underway. ML3s on this showdown Sunday. We are a go. This will be into the Comets corner. That's going to be pumped into the front. Owner of the white sedan is going to take this up the sidewall. Chance going off the back, trying to follow it himself. Gets the touch, but it's just wide of that right post. Dodgers with a good chance early, about 20 seconds in. Another chance in front. That's going to be put aside. Tarasenko is going to try to put this around the corner. One of the weights that forces the issue. Dodgers with a real good offensive game plan to start things out here, Hawkish, as they look to try to play the possession game in that Comets end. Absolutely. And now the Comets, they need to tend to get something rolling. You saw... The Dodgers have the early possession, and now they need to try to come back and take advantage of this situation. And now as Plumpy is going to probably put this towards the corner, uh, he's going to try to handle this around uh, Tarasenko, but Tarasenko meets him up with the 50, gets it around both defensive players, but owner of the West Sedan able to get to it. It's not both players for the Comets bumping into each other. It's something that'll look out for their uh, Curtis if they start uh, nope. bumping into each other a little bit too much on the rotations. And we'll see how the chemistry builds here as the as Comets are really starting to build something possession-wise. Ando takes it up the sidewall. Needs a little bit of help. He'll wait. Plummer will send it deep. He'll give it a follow in the offensive end. Looking to play off the back wall here. Ando decided to try to go for this a little late in his decision-making. It'll go back into the Dodgers' end. Plummer. Tarasenko takes it away. Ando loses that. Goes past owner. 
And it's going to be towards the side wall. Going underneath that one is going to be Plumber. That's not going to go the way of, his, the way of him. Owner of the White Sedan waits patiently. They battle for it around that boost orb down there. Dodgers content to just let the Comets bring it to them. This will bounce off the ground. Chance for the Dodgers goes over two. Shot towards the net just wide of the end target as we played two minutes. Dodgers now trying to start to reverse some momentum and at least get some possession time in the offensive side. They really do need to try to take advantage of that possession. As you saw, that that mistake me made there by the Comets. Uh, they, you need to take advantage of those. If, if you see the defense a little out of sorts on their rotations, you need to try to get a shot on the board, maybe try to direct the pass around the defense, and that's going to be the oh. difference maker. As Plumby almost gets an amazing flex play on that one, gets it around both defenders, but not quite enough to get it around the last one. Something to look out for, but there's owner of the White Sedan scoring a great shot there on the aerial touch. Just nobody back for the Comets and not able to react quickly enough as you see Tarasenko did the backflip there. Worst case, worst case scenario, put it on net, see what happens. Good work by owner to realize the Comets are out of position defensively. Neither one, neither of the three can get up to put that one away. And it is a one nothing lead for the boys in blue. This will be towards the sidewall. Ando gets past one, gonna try to work it into the corner. Put up off the back. Plumber gets it taken aside. Ando will hit it back into the offensive side. Comets try to take possession and they do get a hit. Right past Plumber, but it'll be right to Ando. Ando can try to turn in, get contact on it, but it's a nice interrupt near the top of the box. Up the corner. This will be a chance. Nice delicate touch, trying not to put it far enough away from post to take the opportunity aside. And the Dodgers have a chance here. Plumpy into the corner. They're gonna try to touch this into the middle, but it's cast aside once more. Defat will get there. More opportunity, as I'd say, for the Dodgers than we've seen the Comets on this on this particular game one. However, that may change on a dime. Comets doing a very good job keeping it away from frame. They have a chance towards the corner, and if they can set up, they can get one towards the net. There's a chance off the back, and it's passed, cast aside as Plumpy will make the save initially. Dodgers have it defensively in their own end with a minute 19 to go. And you see right there, right now, the comments are putting the pressure that we weren't seeing earlier on. And it's something that you need to look out for because they weren't too great, at least to, in my eyes, on their defensive rotations, which is what allowed the Dodgers to get that early goal. And now they got to get something happening on the offensive side of the field. But Tarasenko giving a great demo there, but there is Orange unable to capitalize on that one. And does, that can come back to haunt him in this one. That very well may. There's a touch off the ceiling, put into the front for owner. Ando's going to have to give chase to this just over the midfield line. 43 seconds left. Comet's trying to find a hero to tie this one up. This is going to be towards the corner. Owner has a chance to move this. Rides it up the sidewall, gets past one. Needs a little bit of help. Bumpy's going to try to meet it. It's not going to go anywhere. Comets get a touch over the midfield line. Need a second one, but Ando right there. Dodgers have been first to most of these at the midfield line and have done a good job of owning that part of the field. That pinch play is going to set up the Dodgers offensively, but it's back into the midfield line for the Comets. The double touch is a decent one. Nine seconds left. Comets trying to get it towards the net, but the Dodgers all over it. They can continue to kill time off the corner. Dangerous ball. Ando's going to miss, and it does not matter. This game is over. The Dodgers come up with a 1-0 win in game number one. They pitch a shutout defensively in their first one in week nine. And that was a great game by the Dodgers defensively, only allowing the Comets to get two shots on the board. And while they only were able to convert uh, one out of five shots on their side of the pitch, it was all they needed in this one. When you're playing great defense like that, it seemed like right there, uh, a lot of the times that you were seeing was the Dodgers had a lot of midfield control. If you can control the boost pads near the midfield, that's going to stop the Comets from being able to come back and try to ro uh, rotate out and get aggressive on the counterattack. And that's exactly what worked out for the Dodgers in that first one. Great, great start for the Dodgers. Now they need to work on putting more goals on the board. One goal per game is not going to be enough as it relates to this series. Comets had a couple of different chances to be able to put one on the board, but the Dodgers' very good line defense, not letting the ball get in frame, and that's very important. Even if you're struggling for possession in your own end, Hawkish, keeping it away from the top of the box and in range of one-touch goal is very important. Absolutely, and, and, and then you got to see the comments. They ha like you said, they had the opportunities, but it seemed like they were not passing to each other as much as they could have. 
They were just trying to get touches off the backboard, trying to get anything that could have happened. When If you can get a little bit more of an angle touch, a little bit more strategic with where you're placing the ball, that's going to give you the opportunity to get a better pass around the defense. And with the Dodgers, how the way they were playing defensively, the Comets have to switch something up. We are ready to go with game number two as this is underway. This will be into the Dodgers corner, first things first. Opportunity for the Comets to get it in, but it's taken aside. This will be hard off the back. Chance in front. Double touch is a good opportunity. Not going to go. Owner's in the area. He's going to put this long and wide of the intended left post target. Comets have a real nice pinch, sending that back down deep. It'll be off the corner. Chance for the Comets. Good job coming across from Mondo to interrupt that. Off the ceiling. Eventually comes down. Top of the box. Another opportunity for the Dodgers to get it clear. And they will for the moment as it goes towards the sidewall. Owner puts it into the Comets end. The Comets will regroup. 30 seconds in, 40 seconds in now into game two. And you see the Comets putting a little bit more pressure there than they did in the first one. They were immediately just going for every ball, not letting the Dodgers have an open shot towards the goal. And that could be the difference to try to get to claw back and have a different result in this one that they'd had in the first match. And that's going to be a, a chance shot. in front. And Defat puts it in. The Comets take the lead. It's a one nothing scoreline. What a shot. Tarasenko with the perfect pass over Defat, able to react quickly enough to get the redirect right into the back of the net. Nobody back for the Dodgers, and that's a little bit uncharacteristic of what the first one looked like. Defensive rotation is not exactly on foot there. Good transition play. Sets up the Comets with a one nothing lead. Taken in. Orange Fishy Glue. Off the back. Plummer gets it past one. Looking to get it past two and does so. Over the midfield line. We'll give it a follow into the offensive end. Ando towards the side. Good hard shot. Plummer's going to have to make a save, and he will. Very accurate shot and a very good job to be in the way of it. Owner of the white sedan cuts it off. Orange Fishy Glue goes up. Ando gets the takeaway. He'll send it deep into the Comets end. Owner of the white sedan. Good follow. Pumped it in front. Ando misses the chance. Plummer is going to try to put it home as well, and it's taken aside once more. And this will be Tarasenko's save. Owner of the white sedan. Orange Fishy Glue. Puts it back out to mid. Up in the air it goes. Still in front of the Comets end. Plummer doesn't make contact. Neither does Ando. And contact from the Comets defensively. Puts it right in the path of Orange Fishy Glue. And that'll get sent back into the Dodgers end. The Dodgers have to watch out for those double commits. If you're going to go double, you have to hit the ball. Because if, do, if you don't, you're going to leave your third man on, on an island defensively. And letting the Comets counterattack. Hopefully they're going to try to fix that up going forward. This will be into the Dodgers corner. Tarasenko loses on that. Defense going to try to give chase into his own corner. Up the back while he goes. He'll make contact. Right around, thrown to the white sedan. Pass in front. Not quite where he wanted as he is on to waiting in the middle. Orange Fishy Glue puts that one near frame. That one's in frame. Dangerous ball. Good job by Ando to intercept and take it back the other side. Dodgers trying to set something up. This will be in front of that net. one nothing lead for the Comets as we play with 2.13 to go. The Comets again able to clear their back line. 120 seconds roughly to go in game two. And you see the Comets oh. were putting some speed, but Ando, what an absolute banger of a dunk. Just gets up right forward, picking up a little bit more speed than Defat could and gets it right around him to tie this ball game back up. And Curtis, we got a series. We got ourselves a game for sure. 2.05 left, and the Comets concede the tying goal. See what the next couple minutes looks like. Things getting a little bit intense here in this second game. Owner of the white sedan puts it down. Ando with a good hard send towards the Comets net. Out of the corner. Good flip play towards the net. It's going to end up on the goal line and in. Ando has his second in a minute, and it's 2-1 to one Dodgers. Ando just absolutely putting his team on his back. A great touch off the wall. Able to get it around the last defender, and the Comets defense just scrambling on that one. Minute 52 to go. Comets reeling a little bit after getting punched in the mouth not once but twice. Ando's up the side. He's looking for a natural hat trick if he can get it. He's going to try to fall on top of the ball. The bounce is still a good one towards the goal line. Up off the backboard. Put on the goal line again by Plummer. He's not going to be able to put it home, though. And the Comets survive for one more minute. That's in front. Another save coming out from Defat. Good job going across. This will be hard and over the midfield line. Ando will defer. Coming across is owner of the white sedan. Plummer in the area as well. Ando's going to turn on this. 
Dangerous ball up the back wall it goes, but it's not in frame. Dodgers will survive for the moment. Good hard send back to midfield, but no further. And contact by Ando is going to send it up the side wall. 70 seconds to go. 2-1 lead for the Dodgers as they cling to it, as things have gotten pretty tense in their defensive end. And the Comets now have to react. As you said, they got punched in the mouth not once, but twice. So now they have to try to come back and try to get a good pass off. As you see, the shot opportunity there. The Comets have a chance here, but nobody able to capitalize on that one. As you see, owner of the White Sedan puts it back over to the Comets side. And now with 45 seconds left, we got the Comets have to get something rolling in quickly. 40 seconds left. That's off the nose. Put it right into Orange Fishy Loose Path. He's going to get a hard send back the other way. Off the nose. Good job by Ando. He's going to try to take a second touch. Not going to work, but Plummer's all over it. 30 ticks to go. Off the corner. Comets need a hero and fast. Off the nose, over one. Good job by Tarasenko to get a hard hard let into the offensive end. Good save by Undo. What a seed. Nearly headed to the top corner. Comets can't buy one at the moment, and the Dodgers may have a time for a counterattack. Ten seconds to go. That's in front. Chance for Plummer. You know, trying to drop it down towards the goal line with the save. Now defense got to do something with it. It's up in the air as is Fishy Glue. He's not going to make contact. Tarasenko trying to land on top of it. Be fat into the area. Doesn't matter. That's going to end up being game number two. The Dodgers walk away with a 2-1 win and own the series lead at 2 nothing. And there's the Dodgers yet again making things happen. Ando has to be the MVP of that match. Two goals and two saves, and those goals were absolute bangers of plays. And versus the Comets, they, you know, they had a lot of more opportunities than they did in the first uh, matchup. They had six shots. A little bit better than they did before and one goal on the board, but they need to do a little bit more to get past the Dodgers, especially the way Ando's playing. If he continues to keep that up, they're going to be a tough matchup to bring down. A lot of fun in that particular matchup as it relates to how the Dodgers played speed-wise. The Comets, they had bouts of uncomfortability towards the back half of that game. They looked pretty good in the first half after they got their goal and were seemingly content to sit on it, they really didn't force the issue with the, uh, with the way the Dodgers were playing. They could have done so, I think, and put the, the Dodgers in their back heels, but they let the Dodgers just slowly get back into the contest and they paid for it. That they did. And you saw that uh, the Comets had five saves. They were playing a, li a little bit back defensively for the most part. And that ended up costing them because Ando was able to take advantage, play a little bit faster than his opponent, and get some great plays exactly around the defense. He found the cracks in the armor, and once you do that, there's not much else you need. We are ready to go just about with game number three on Forbidden Temple. Dodgers own a 2-0 lead in this series. They have a chance for a series victory if they're able to get this one to go. Comets have some work to do. They're by no means out of this series. Both the games have been competitive, but they have some uh, chemistry to build and some offense to get, as this one will immediately get sent into the offensive end for the Dodgers. That's a chance. Tarasenko gets it ahead of him, but it's going to be hard sent back into the Comets' corner again. That ends up left wing side. Defat's going to get a touch back to mid. Ends up getting past the cross for under the white sedan. Takes possession on the sidewall. Going to try to end up on top of it. The fall from Grace is not great as Tarasenko takes care of it. Back into the defensive end. It goes for the Comets, but they have possession. T, their defat. Going to lose on this using the scarab to get it back to midfield, but no further. Defat. Goes across, it gets sent into the corner. A lot of possession time in the offensive end for the Dodgers as they try to force it in to the framed area. That's a shot. Double commit on defense. Makes it up the Dodgers as we play 50 seconds into game number one. Good start offensively for the boys in blue. They're doing the best they can in this one. I want to know, as you said, defense in the scarab. I don't believe he had that in the uh, other two matches. So that was uh, going to be interesting to see how he handles in that car. is a little bit of an unconventional choice there. And when you want to be the ball, you be the scarab. Essentially, <laughs> is how that usually goes. It'll be a chance from Ando to owner of the white sedan. Sedan puts it in the corner. Ando tries to get a second touch on it. Nearly there. Right wing side. Chance. Plummer towards the net. He scores. Great placement. Dodger take a one nothing lead. And it looks like a little bit of a miscommunication there on defense. You see defect getting stuck on the wall as Orange woes for it, and then you get you see the comments. Jinx and the armor are showing, and the Dodgers are just taking advantage. Good work by Plummer, realizing he has a chance to make something happen. Jumps all over it. Comet's got to get themselves back into this game. 
We're a minute 30 into the contest. This will be towards the halfway line. Defat off the back. Needs a second touch. That's going to be towards the goal line, but wide of the intended right post. Owner gets it up and past one as Tarasenko's underneath him. Pass into the mid, but Defat reads it well. Plummer puts that one near frame. Thomas needs a defensive touch in the worst way. This is high off the back. This is an opportunity. Owner down to Ando. Ando underneath the ball. Can't get it done. Plummer's in a tough spot. He's going to have to play this defensively, and he does so about as well as you can. Defat past one. Tries to get it towards the Dodgers net, but it's a save coming out. I believe it was Plummer that got that. And Ando has to give a back pass into frame to his teammate owner, as that will get it back to the left wing side. That puts it in front. Owner of the white sedan going for the physical play there. Nearly made it happen. Into the corner it goes. They're around that boost orb. Dodgers get it past one. Not going to work. Plummer can't make it happen as we played close to halftime. Install a 1-0 lead for the Dodgers. Comets have not been able to consistently get anything towards that Dodgers net. This is a chance, though, and they score! Orange Fishy Glue ties the game up just past the halfway point. What a great shot there by Orange Fishy Glue. Able to read that and get the aerial touch that he's looking for. Puts it right in the only spot the defense couldn't get to. And now we got another tie ball game. There's still a lot of time left in the game. 2.24 to go. Even ball game in game number three. Dodgers lead the series 2-0 if you're running a little bit late. Been a nice competitive series. Even games usually all the way through. As this will be a save coming out from Plummer. Plummer gets a second touch, gets to follow it into the offensive end. He'll defer. Ando has to come across. Owner comes in, has a better angle at it. He'll send it in. Dodgers really playing a fast speed game right now. This will bounce in front of the Comets. That good hard send. Dangerous ball, but a good job by Owner with the very nice defensive play to get it into the corner and gone as Ando will send it into that corner of the Comets end. Tarasenko drops it down. That's a dangerous ball. Dodgers going to try to make him pay. Plummer off the back. Chance in front. Sedan scores just under the bar. 2-1 lead for the Dodgers with 98 seconds to go. What a read on that play. Owner of the white sedan. It would have just get the defense on their heels and puts it right back on the net. Great play, great patience waiting for that one. And now the Dodgers again up 2-1. to one. 98 seconds left. Uh, Comets again find themselves in a familiar spot. Down a goal. This is left wing side. Owner gets it taken away from him, but Ando forces it. That's going to be towards the net. Dangerous ball, but defense equal to it for the moment. Comets get it into the offensive end. Taken away. Dodgers, another chance. This is going to be high off the back. Off the nose. Towards the net, he scores. Owner of the weight sedan, second of the ball game. It's 3-1. to one. And you saw in the, in the last matchup, it was Ando, but this time it's owner of the white sedan. Great patience on that play. Reads the touch off the wall. The Commons just could not do anything with that touch. And now you got the Dodgers up 3-1. to one. And the, the way they've been playing, I don't, I don't know if this league is, uh, lead is going to come, uh, come back. It will be a chance for the Comets, though. They're in the offensive end for the moment. See how long they can keep it there. Ando, pinch play does not go the way of the Comets here. They need a second touch, getting it up the wall, and they have a chance for a follow. Good touch into the middle for the Comets, but not great for the Dodgers, as that did not go the way they won. And this will be back towards the midfield line. Good send across, wall to wall, side to side. Comets have a chance here, waiting patiently. Look at a pass into the middle. That's actually an angled shot towards the net. They score. Orange fishy glue picks it in on the back end. It's a 3-2 game now. And here's the comments out to make me a liar. I was sitting there thinking that the Dodgers lead was going to be insurmountable the way they've been playing, but a great shot there puts it right in the corner. So far in this matchup, we've seen a lot of great placements on the shots, and that and that led to a, much, uh, a little bit more scoring than we had in the first couple matches. And that's going to be far side and a little bit wide. Deep had a chance to tie the game, didn't get it done. Dodgers have a chance. The flick over one is a good one. Orange Fishy Lou jumps in front of that. It'll be a chance for Plummer to get it back in, but it's off the post. Chance for the Comets, and they're going to miss the opportunity. The tie game was waning, and they didn't make it happen. The, the return fire back the other way isn't going to go either, so they still live. 18 seconds left. Comets trying to find something. This will be into the corner. Off the back, hard. Off the nose. Orange Fishy Lou looking for another touch across, and Deep Fat not quite there. Needs a pinch. Gets it past one. Now needs some help. Into the mid. That's going to be hard off the back. Back to midfield it goes. The Dodgers are going to come up with three one-goal wins in a row to put this game or put the series on ice as they will get the series victory 
as long as, well, actually, the Comets actually have a chance here. No, it'll go above them as this is going to hit the ground. Dodgers take it 3-2 in that contest, and they have a 3-0 series lead to go to, to boot. So a very good start for them as they cinch the series victory. It's very unfortunate there for the Comets. It's not like they weren't playing well. They got the shots right. that they were looking for as the Dodgers just were just a little bit too much. They, they got the touches that they needed, and once they did, all you got to do is rotate back defensively, make sure that nothing goes past you, and that's what the Dodgers played. They played a very patient game. They were a little bit faster than the Comets were offensively, and then at the end of the day, that's all you need. Solid play gets you the win. And solid play, but also faster play. It seemed like the Dodgers were just first to every read. Comets re really more playing reactive than proactive Rocket League, and were not there to support each other's offensive ambitions. That's really where a lot of their issues came about. It was a it was a one opportunity and done if there was an opportunity to go with it. Comets just really did not have the support with them to be able to put consistent pressure on the Dodgers net, and I think that was the difference here. I, it definitely could have been, and I will say, with the five saves coming from the Comets, this could have been a much more different game had any of those saves not come through for them. It could have been a much bigger win for the Dodgers, but we're getting some close series. Our close wins, I should say. So we'll see now. Can the Comets at least salvage a few wins here at the end? Because right now, the way the Dodgers are playing, they have to be on point to come back in this one. You got to watch the keys for game four and five is the corner play. The corners have been absolutely contentious on both sides of the pitch. We'll see if that continues as we get into game number four. This will be a chance for defense. It's a past one Dodger. Gets it past two Dodgers. That's an empty net to shoot at. It's crossbar and down, and the Dodgers are going to survive this mess as they're going to get through with still a scoreless tie intact. 20 seconds in. And that's an F in the chat on that one. He had the open net, and that's something that you saw early on as well. You cannot miss open net shots. That has been costing a couple opportunities for the Comets, and, that, and that's going to have been the difference so far in the series. You have to, uh, to capitalize these shots. And you see another one coming in from Ando. Almost puts the Dodgers up early. Another one from owner of the White Sedan. And it seems like right now the Dodgers are just all over the Comets in this one. Yeah, good offensive pressure from those Dodgers. They're going to try it again here. Hard off the back. Looking for a little bit of help. Defat, another defensive touch. Ben where he needed to be in the defensive end most of the time in this series. Chance for Tarasenko. Tarasenko with the work on the follow. This will be hard off the intersection and straight down. The fan gets the long send into the Dodgers blue. Off the sidewall. Ando. Good dunk. Puts it up for owner. Owner's not going to be able to find the angle he needs to put that one on net. Back the other way comes Orange Fishy Glue. Good flick. Has a chance. The control is there. Toward the goal line. Good save. Another chance for the Comets. Goes by the wayside. That's two gorgeous shots that go do not end up in the back of the net. We remain scoreless. And again, you got to capitalize on those touches. Fish Eagle had a great uh, opportunity there to put the Comets up in this one. But at the end of the day, that was also a great save by the Plummy Plummer. It was great to be able to get back to that as now you're going to see the Dodgers go back on offense. Ando putting a shot. Can he get the double touch? Oh, Unfortunately, oh, oh. misses. And that was oh so close on that one. He definitely wants that one back. That's going to be a Comets chance in front. Light ring side. Chance for Defat towards the net, he scores! Good placement just inside the right post. Comets have the lead. And I think the car change was worthwhile. This one goes back uh, to the Dominus and puts a great shot right on net. The defense can do nothing with that one. And now the Comets, they finally have that lead. Now can they hold it? 2.58 to go. They had a lead in game two as well, right about this time frame. See if they can keep it this time. Sedan's going to get the touch towards the sidewall. Tries to take it with him. Tarasenko looks for contact, gets first contact into the Dodgers' corner. Watch this corner play. No pressure coming from the Comets on that particular occasion. This will be hard off the back. Chance to take a 2-0 lead. Defat is there. He scores! Two in a row for Defat. Comets have their biggest lead of the series. Two amazing reads by Defat. Ando, I think, jumped a tad bit too early. Maybe panic there in the net, just trying to make sure he was up in the air. And Defat just has to put it around him for another shot for the Comets. And now with a 2-0 lead, this is a great opportunity for the Comets to keep their momentum rolling. That is it, up towards the ceiling. Dropping that one down. Touched away. Opportunity gone by the wayside. This will be a chance for Tarasenko. Towards the far side. Plummer. Good hard touch. Puts it right into Ando's lap. 
Sedan tries to angle it towards the net. Didn't quite get it there. It'll be a chance for Orange Fishy Glue. Gets the second touch. Looks for a third. Forces it. Third touch gets it into the corner. Orange, owner of the white sedan gets it past one, then two, but the Comets have the possession and the control, or so it would seem. Good, hard pitch back the other way. This may set up the Dodgers. Good opportunity for Ando. Gets the touch off the dunk. That's a chance for Owner. Owner's going to try to drop this down. Ando nowhere to be seen, as is Plummer. And that is going to be the Dodgers getting it cleared away from them. That was a good opportunity, though. Not able to make it happen as they're down two. And now the Dodgers are the ones with their heels back. They need to try to get enough score on the board to cut into this lead. Somebody here has to come up for the Dodgers. Ando and uh, on the owner of the West Sedan were the ones early. Now someone has to put their team on their back in this one to try to claw their way back. This will be a chance towards the back wall. Comets with a chance, but it's taken away. Plummer in a tough spot, as is Ando. Ando defensively in a real tough spot. That goes into the corner. Now gets up to try to take it away. Dodgers need one here in the worst way if they want to make it a 4-0 series lead. Comets get the possession and control to 2v1 back the other side. Gets it passed. Good demo as well, though, by the Dodgers. We'll, we'll thwart that offensive attempt. They're all back. They're all ready to go. 47 left. They're going to try to get one. If they can get one, they can feel they can get four. This will be a chance up in the air towards the Comets back while trying to drop it down. Good job by Orange Fishing Glue to knock that one aside. Dodgers into the offensive corner. Needs another touch. Does owner of the white sedan. Ando there. 30 seconds left. Doesn't take much to get two goals in this game, but the defense has been pretty solid for the Comets so far. That's a pass in the middle, but just beyond where Sedan can reach. And that'll be sent back towards midfield and further in. Tarasenko, Defat, the send back the other way, and that is going to spell doom for the Dodgers right in front off their own back wall. The Comets are going to get into game four and at least be able to get one on the match total. This will hit the ground eventually. Dodgers trying to get one for the road. Put into the offensive corner. It'll eventually hit the ground right there. The Comets walk away with a 2-0 game four win as they pitch a shutout of their own the latter stages of the series. And you, you sit there and ask, what was different for the Comets? And it was that defense. They had, I believe, six saves on their side. Didn't let anything from the Dodgers get through. While putting seven shots of their own, DFAT, the difference maker for them, getting two goals on the board, and they need to keep playing like this if they want to get the last match of the night. Uh, but the Dodgers, you know, they did have their opportunities. They just couldn't capitalize. See if the comments can repeat themselves here and get them get a, a similar effort on to the pitch. Dodgers with a real good start to this series. They really don't want to finish less than that, if at all possible. They're going to work on game five and see what they can do as I believe Manfield Knight is going to be where we are headed. But a uh, good job by the Comets. You mentioned their defense. Their defensive rotations were very good. And the biggest thing is they had opportunities in the offensive end. They were able to actually convert, which is a, uh, which is a good start. But the Dodgers, we know they can turn it on. We've seen it in this series. And so if they can force the Comets out of that game plan, I think they'll be in good shape. I think they will. The Dodgers just need to play their game. Don't let the comments get in their head. You saw a few times on defense, especially on the defect goals, that they seem to panic a little bit on the goal line. If they can try to come back and change a couple of things, they should be able to get right back and get this last win. Now well, we're ready to go. Game five is on your screen as we're underway at Manfield Night. This will be a chance for the plumber immediately with an opportunity. Sedan towards the far side. It's off the post. Owned Ando can't turn back. And the Comets will get it cleared away. That's a dangerous ball, but it's up the back wall. And the Dodgers defensively will clear it away hard as Ando will give it a look. Good pinch off the ceiling. He's got a bounce in a dangerous area for Defat. Well read. Comets take control of it. Back to midfield. Defat gets it taken away by Ando. Another hard clear into and up the corner ramp. Good one off the back. Needs one more touch. Ando trying to force the issue. Plummer is in the area trying to lurk. Gets a touch. Towards the ceiling, it'll eventually come down. Comets with an immediate chance to get it cleared away, but nothing doing as they lose possession back towards the midfield line, but then keep it at least into the Dodgers blue for a moment. And it seems like right there, the double commit's hurting the Comets right now. 
They're doing, uh, they're not doing too bad defensively, but if they're gonna get back on offense, they need to try to control. If they keep just trying to lunge for the balls, that's exactly what was happening in the first couple matches. The Dodgers had the advantage, and again, they had a great comeback, and they don't let your rotations falter. That's oh! a great shot there from owner of the White Sedan. You saw the shot. <laughs> What a play, and uh, you see Orange Fish, he, he's got to be regretting that touch on that one. Yeah, owner of the White Sedan from his own parking lot, and I think <laughs> the, the, the chance there was for him to defensively touch it, trying to put it off his own backboard, it just did not get the angle he needed to, and 100% uh, of the nastiest redirects you're ever going to hit are always going to be into your own net. So that uh, unfortunately does not qualify for an MLE Play of the Week, but you can find one yourself and nominate one if you'd like. Grab it, clip it, hashtag it, send it over to MLE Sports, your MLE Sports GG on Twitter with the hashtag MLEPOTW. When you play and player gets a case of Balls Gurana sent to them completely free of charge after the voting concludes. This will be a chance towards the top of the box. That's put into the corner again. Ondo into the middle. Dodgers with a 1 0 lead on the own goal. Orange Fishy Clue trying to fix it. Great angle shot, but it's a nice save. Owner of the white sedan pinches it up against the crossbar, and the Comets are left wanting as we get to the halfway point of game five. Orange tried so hard. He had a great read on the aerial, immediately goes up for it, and it was a great angle, but just not quite enough. A good, a good offensive play beaten by an even better defensive play, and it's just unfortunate that he couldn't get that one back. That'll be a corner-to-corner -corner play. Owner of the White Sedan tries to go around that corner. Ando in a tough spot. They're not quite able to get there. Owner of the White Sedan, good job defensively getting back. He'll take it up, up his own sidewall. As Ando lurking. Knows he has some help coming. Good touch into the corner. Trying to get it towards the net. Didn't quite work out. This will be a chance for Plummer. Not going to happen. Ando comes across to play it up the wall. Good possession-based play for the Dodgers. That'll be towards and around that boost orb in the corner. That's a pop right wing side. Plummer plays it laterally. Ando's up towards the net. That's going to be off the right post and a save as well as Tarasenko makes the contact happen. Comets were getting responsible enough to put it away from their own net. They do just that and make the Dodgers play defense in their own corner. Now you see owner of the white sedan getting the pass off to Ando, but not quite enough. And uh, there's a, oh, oh no, Tarasenko. I did not expect that to drop right into the net. The double commit working out for the Comets. You know, if one doesn't work, you send two of them there, Curtis. Yeah, I, I guess so. You, when it comes down to it, it's America's favorite game. It's Plinko as the Comets are beneficiaries of that particular play. Good start or good stuff from the Comets to get the game tied up. And I guess if you factor in the first goal, you had a couple of weird ones starting out this particular game five. Dodgers trying to follow it in the offensive end. There was a demo in the backfield that didn't matter for much at the moment. Off the nose. That's in front. Comets with a chance. Can he turn it? He cannot. Into the corner it goes. Dodgers work, work to recover in their own end. Owner of the White Stand puts it in a real tough spot. Tarasenko tries to get there, but Plummer's going to get there first. And back to midfield we go for the Dodgers. Empty net. Looking to get it into the far side. And Ando gets it where he needs to to give his team the lead with a minute to go. And that's where I have to ask, where was the defense? A little bit of an Olay action there. Nobody back for the comments. I think it was a little bit of a misread on the wall by the third man. Not letting the, guy, uh, the first man rotate back quickly enough. And that leaves the comments net wide open. That'll be off the left headlight. Up in the air. This will be a chance. Comments with an opportunity towards the net. They score. Orange fishy glue with a seed in the top right corner. And they tie the game. What a great play by Orange Fishy. Getting a good read, being patient with the flick, and gets it right in the back of the net. Ando there, she's sitting there with, on an island, and you got to be able to get back a little bit quicker than that. 2-2 two, two game, 45 seconds to go. Dodgers trying to get themselves back in front after the Comets come back and tie it. Oh, good touch. Oh, no, the white sedan, but it's taken in by defense. Ando towards the net. They score. Ando puts that one in. Good attempt at the save, but they take the lead right back. You see the Dodgers showing what they've shown all series. They are clutch. They get the goals they need when they need them. And with 34 seconds left on the clock, 
You got the commas have to make something happen and happen quickly. 34 ticks to go. Dodgers have the lead. Comets find themselves down one for the fourth time in this series. This will be a chance. Left wing side into the corner. That pinch play is going to send it right at Fishy Glue. Fishy Glue towards that net, handled fairly easily by Ando. Coming in is Defat. Gets it taken away. It'll hit the ceiling and eventually come down. Lands on top of Tarasenko. Dangerous ball. Good angled play. Gets it towards the net. Orange Fishy Glue puts it up in the air. Comet's trying to find something with four seconds left. This will be at the midfield line and sent back the other way. The Dodgers are going to walk away with a 4-1 series win as Ando, owner of the White Sedan and Plumpy Plumber, go through and take care of the Comets in pretty dominant fashion. Everything but game four going their way. Good stuff. Good effort from the Dodgers and the Comets, all told, as it was five competitive games on our screens. It really was. This was such a great series to watch. The entire There was no team that just looked utterly dominating. The Dodgers were a little bit faster. I'll give them that. They were playing a little bit more controlled, a little bit uh, uh, ahead of the Comets. But the Comets were no sloshes themselves. They were putting in and giving them every ounce that they could handle. The Dodgers was just answering every single shot. Very, very good work from those Dodgers. And the Comets, as mentioned, they had some issues with taking advantage of opportunities. They had a couple of empty nets they were not able to convert on, whether it would be Bardownski or whatever the case is. Uh, but their defensive rotations hurt them. They let the Dodgers come through, and a, and a decent number of transition plays was really the uh, the difference in this entire series as the good counterattacks for the Dodgers really, really made up for whatever deficiencies they had on the other end. They really did. And the Dodgers, I think, were also just getting some really good team plays. It seemed like some of the reasons they were getting were good uh, abilities to be able to take advantage of the Comets' defense. It seemed like there was a couple of chinks in the armor that they were just able to read, and the Comets just didn't know how to answer back. It seemed like every time the Comets punched them in the mouth, the Dodgers came back with two right back at them. We've got more to come. It is the Hurricanes and Ducks. Coming up in just a few minutes time near the top of the hour. Stay with us. It's MLE Sports GG2 presented by APM Music. It's Showdown Sunday. Stay right there. <laughs> 